Welcome to the course Mastering JavaScript Design Patterns by Pact Publishing. I am Bumbu and I'm going to present this course. This course is intended for developers who have some experience with JavaScript. You'll need to know some basic concepts such as closures, different ways to invoke a function and how prototypes work. What is interesting is that most probably you already used or benefited from some design patterns, as most JavaScript libraries use them. Take Bootstrap, AngularJS, or jQuery. In this course, we'll cover over 30 different software design patterns. Many of them are their so called Gang of Four design patterns. Other patterns are more specific to dynamic and functional languages. In the first section, we'll make a brief theoretical introduction to what is a design pattern and why they're useful. Also, the definition of anti-pattern will be covered. We'll start with a simple player mock-up looking like this. In the second section, we'll cover some basic patterns and we'll implement a simple logic for playing tracks. In the third section, we'll work on modularizing the application. We'll get from mostly one file application to a set of modules, each with its own responsibility. In the fourth section, we'll work on separation of concerns by using few MVC based patterns. On visual part, we'll add active track highlight and we'll enable track play button. In the fifth section, we'll be handling different types of tracks and we'll add nested tracks. In the sixth section, we'll build a server that will serve data to our application. So we'll be loading data dynamically. Seventh section will also involve working on server, but this time we'll focus more on front end communication with the server. We'll load data from multiple sources and we'll use caching. In the last section, we'll focus on some utility patterns that may help to increase code maintainability. Here you can see which patterns are covered in this course. Numbers in parentheses represent subsection numbers where a pattern is used. So, if you want to check a specific pattern where you want to refresh your memory, you can always come back to this table and find the pattern you are interested in.